very easy to make and you can uh, color them to match your existing pavers. Uh, you start with a variety of different uh, containers. Um, you can use the bottom of soda bottles, uh, basically any plastic container. I'm using um, Chinese soup containers and you also then need another smaller uh, container that's going to create the cavity of the mold. Uh, the one that I'm working on now, I've just cut the bottom off of a plastic uh, cup. I drilled a hole in the bottom of each of those containers, uh, inserted candle holder. The concrete that I'm using is left over from another project. Um, probably, be, probably be better to use cement rather than concrete, uh, but this is what I had. I also colored it uh, to match my existing papers, and that's just a, a colored powder that you add to the cement or concrete. We're going to add uh, the concrete into each one of the containers um, and tap it down. with using a concrete on some of the smaller containers is to get that concrete to flow down completely to the bottom because the rocks um, kind of impede the flow. Uh, one method is to tap it down and on the clear containers it's nice because you can visualize if there's any air spaces. Um, I then set um, these aside for 24 hours. I actually brought them inside to my boiler room because it's a little cool outside this time of year. I let them cure for 24 hours um, and then you tap and wiggle them free from their containers. Some people actually spray the inside of the container with Pam uh, before you pour the concrete, but if it's a smooth plastic, the concrete really does uh, fall freely from that plastic. Now, getting the inside out is a little bit more tricky. Um, I find that just using a, um, a, needle, a set of needle nose pliers and having that wire uh, through the middle of that inside uh, container, you can pull on that wire which kind of breaks the, the uh, surface tension at the bottom of the plastic. Uh, either way, it's not that difficult uh, to get out that, that inside uh, piece, creating the cavity that we're going to use uh, to pour the candle wax into. You can see here I'm just using Um, in fact, I actually broke a couple of these because I was impatient. Um, but you really should let them cure completely uh, before you start to take out that interior piece. Uh, the next step is just adding a, a wick and then pouring hot wax into each cavity. Notice the um, strange shape of the inside of this cavity. And that was um, the one that we used the plastic cup, uh, the cut plastic cup to create the hold it in position for a few seconds or get it to balance um, on the edge. But once the wax is cooled, uh, the project is finished. It's a very, very easy uh, to make do-it-yourself project. Uh, very nice results. These are very sturdy. They will never blow away in the wind, certainly. A great do-it-yourself project uh, for the backyard. Please check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com be sure to check out our other how-to videos and if you liked this video I ask that you please subscribe to this YouTube channel